Every year, hundreds of riders from around the world enter the iron and bronze classes in Romaniacs. These are the Dirt Muppets, the Gumbies, the Trail Hacks and the Everyday Heroes, throwing themselves into the world's toughest enduro event. And today we are on board with Les in Romania. Les is a New Zealander who has ridden bronze class before. So we ask him about riding Romaniacs, how he prepared and how difficult was bronze class. So Les, you've ridden Romaniacs twice. What have been your impressions so far? With the Romaniacs event? Yeah. Um, oh, it's a great event and it's certainly you know, a bucket list type event. It's stressful and it's, it's a big build up and there's a lot of commitment and money and time and um, sacrifices but it's like uh, climbing Mount Everest, you know, it's, it's when you've achieved it, it's, it's like nothing else. So um, it is a bit of a drug. <laughs> what were your sort of preparations involved in getting ready for Romaniacs? Well, it's a, it's a year-long commitment, really. Each, each, when it starts, you've got to sacrifice a lot of things to, to make it happen. It's a long way to come from the other side of the world. It's a lot of money. So, you know, you don't want to give a half-assed attempt at it. You want to give it your best. It's a focus and, and everything else almost moves to one side and you know, you just start preparing and riding and, and to get to it, and then when you get here, it's a strange place. It's a different country, obviously. Different people, different culture, different language, different side of the road to ride on. Far out, this place is awesome. Different terrain. Um, but the... When you get to the finish line, it's 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 great. So you've done bronze twice. How would you rate the difficulty of doing bronze? Um, well, I've ridden dirt bikes most of my life. Yeah, I'm no spring chicken now. So if I was in my twenties, I'd probably love to have a crack at silver. But I think that's a, another whole step again. Bronze for me was challenging, it was doable. But to do it in a, I guess, a competitive way, it was about my level. Hey! <laughs> How good is this? Seeing silver guys that I know riding, um, you know, I don't have that inclination that I need to go and do that. <laughs> One thing's for sure, it's bloody expensive for New Zealanders and Aussies to compete. The typical total cost, about $15,000 or US 10,000. So it pays to make sure you enter the right class and don't wreck your bike or yourself on the first day. Most of the guys I met suggested it's best to fly over and do a one week enduro tour first. It's a fraction of the cost, you get to know the terrain and the guides can help you work out which class you should enter. And as they say in Romania, la revedere, catch you later.